Learn how to make this pie chart animation in Adobe After Effects. Woo! We got this fun little intro for you and a little surprise at the end, so stay tuned for that. Hey folks, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. We've got this simple pie chart animation tutorial for you today. So go ahead and open up After Effects and let's get started. We're gonna start off by opening up the shape layer option. So go up to the top here and then you wanna click and hold to show some more options here. We want an ellipses tool. So go ahead and adjust your fill color to whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go with this yellow. And then I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard, click and drag to kind of make that perfect circle. Something like this is fine. I'm gonna hold down command on my keyboard and double click the anchor point tool to center the anchor point. For PC users, that is holding down control. And then I'm gonna go ahead and align this circle on my timeline. I'm gonna rename this circle, circle fill. I'm going to select the layer and then copy and paste it by hitting Command C and Command V on my computer. For PC users, that is Control C, Control V. And I'm gonna change this layer name to Circle Outline. With that Circle Outline layer selected, go ahead and go up to your ellipses tool. And then we want to click the stroke and then click so that it matches the fill. You're gonna wanna take away the fill as well. You can do that by clicking fill and then hitting none. Okay, so something like 20 pixels is okay because this will be the outline for the pie chart animation. I'm gonna unhide that circle fill. And then with the circle fill layer selected, we're gonna go into effects and presets. Let's search for the radial wipe effect. Go ahead and double click the effect to apply it. So now in the effect controls, we wanna change the white style to counterclockwise. When you adjust the transition completion, it should animate it on screen. So it kind of goes backwards here because we wanna start at 100, which shows no pie chart. We wanna make a keyframe. And then to see these keyframes, you can select the layer and hit U on your computer. So I'm gonna drag that to the very beginning. And then at the two second mark, I'm going to change the transition so that it, it goes to 75. So if we do that math, um, that's 100 minus 75, which equals 25. So some simple math there. We're gonna highlight the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease out. All right, that is just fine. Now that we've got the pie chart animated, we're gonna animate some numbers. So at the top here, we wanna click the text tool and then just click on the center of the screen here and I'm gonna write 75. In the character panel, we can adjust the font. I'm gonna go with a Helvetica bold. You can adjust the size here. And then in paragraph, we wanna make sure that it is center aligned because that'll make the animation centered as well and then maybe position it on the circle where you want it to go. Something like this is okay. And then basically you want to select the text layer. We're gonna go into effects and presets and we're gonna search for slider control. Um, double click the effect to apply it. And this is how we're gonna animate the number. We're going to close and open up this text layer here and then open up text. And then we want the source text. We wanna hold down option and hit that stopwatch here. For PC users that is holding down alt and clicking the stopwatch and this little transcript should show up. We wanna link here to the slider control, just like that. And then this expression will come up. We're gonna actually modify this slightly. So at the beginning, we're gonna add math dot round. And then we just want the left bracket. We're gonna delete that second bracket here and then add it to the end. So this will help round the numbers because if you don't add this expression, it'll just go crazy with the decimals and we do not want that. So I'm going to hit plus and then add a quotation mark and then put a percentage in the middle of that. And what that'll do is add a percentage to the end of our animation. So now when we're adjusting the slider control, 
you'll see that the percentage is added to the end there. So I'm going to change it to 75%. Make a keyframe up here. Make sure it's matched with my pie chart animation. Hit U to see the keyframes. And then at the beginning, I'm going to drag it to the front and then change it to zero. Again, we're going to add that easy ease out. And then we got our animation. Now I made this blue because I wanted to add a bit of an outline for when the pie chart is not revealing the number here. So what I'm going to do is go into the character panel, make sure that the layer is selected and Next to here, I want to click and make the color the same color as the yellow. And then over here, I want to make sure that it's fill over stroke. And then I can kind of just make it as big as I want. I think around 10 is actually good. And there you go, a very simple pie chart animation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, folks. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the UOPSAS channel for more videos. I hope you have a fantastic day, folks, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!